You know, I really love everything that's just happening here. Yeah, it's so beautiful. You know, it's almost as if the artist was programmed to do this. Hey Jeremy, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just making some uh, intricate patterns using my spirograph. You ever seen one before? I have, but not for a long time. Well, did you know the spirograph actually has a pretty interesting history? Some of the earliest date back to almost 200 years ago. Um, actually, it was used by bankers to prevent banknote fraud. Whoa. Interesting enough. Uh, but it's been used by engineers and mathematicians for, for decades. But didn't become popular as a toy until the late 60s when uh, Dennis Fisher, a uh, British engineer, introduced it to the toy market in the UK and then it was later brought to the US. It's all history from there. So it's, it's, it's pretty cool, but like we like to do here at Sphero is we take these classic toys and we put a Sphero spin on it. So this week for Thursday Learn Day, we're talking about the Spherograph. This activity is pretty simple. So all you need is something for your robot to draw with. If you have a bolt or a Spark Plus, you can use paint. And today, all we're using is a cup, a rubber band, and some markers. Yeah, so we're actually gonna create uh, what's called a plotter using our robot and these materials and run a very simple program that we've created here. So why don't we take a look at our program and run it to see what it creates. If you remember back to the Beyond the Square Thursday Learn Day, we made a bunch of different polygons. For Spherograph, we want to loop those same shapes but have the heading shift slightly so it can create the cool spiraled shapes. So pretty cool, right? This is really awesome. So how could I create something like this with multiple shapes but in the same program? That is actually a really good question. But for the answer, you'll have to check out this week's activity. And don't forget to check out all of our other Thursday Learn Days in the Sphero EDU app. And we will see you next week for another Thursday, Thursday Learn Day. Learn Day.